So we will start off today with the first energy center called as the Muladhara Chakra. This Muladhara Chakra is located at the base of the spinal cord or the spinal column where the bone of the spine called as the coccyx resides. As you can see in the picture, it is the first energy center at the very base of our energetical system. We have already explained to you about the energy centers and energy channels in our previous sessions. So again we will show you the chart. You can see the number 1 where it is written Muladhara Chakra for innocence and wisdom or the root energy center. It points to the first energy center at the base of the subtle system. This Muladhara Chakra is actually like a guardian. If we can see that the pure energy or the Kundalini energy is about the Muladhara Chakra in the sacrum bone in the inverted triangle. So this energy center actually guards this energy or protects this energy from all sorts of negative attacks from the outside. So here is a bigger picture of the Muladhara Chakra. It corresponds at a physical level at the pelvic plexus. It has four petals as you can see in the picture and it is coral red in color. It is made up of the earth element. The four main qualities of this four petaled chakra is innocence, chastity, wisdom and the pure joy. This center relates to innocence, purity, wisdom, joy and also discretion and a magnetic personality. This energy center looks after the excretion and reproduction functions in our physical bodily system. So here we can see the organs which it is taking care of. As we said it corresponds to the pelvic plexus. It takes care of the organs of reproduction, genital organs, urine collection system and the rectum, the perineal structures the uterus, the cervix and the prostrate. The main qualities of this energy center which it takes care in us is reproduction, removal of waste products from our body in the form of excretion, urination, defecation. It also has the quality or the capacity to enjoy. It has the quality of childlike simplicity the wisdom and innocence. When we talk about the prostrate, here we would like to, you know, go ahead and insist again what it means in Greek. In Greek, prostrate means the one who stands in the front or the one who is the guardian. In Greek language, it also means the head of the family, the one who protects the family works hard and takes care of the family so he's called the protector of the family so the prostrate means a protector or a guardian or the one who stands in front of everything so this is also the quality of the muladhara chakra so it seems that the ancient greeks knew something about meditation now let us see where the muladhara chakra has reflections in our body. First on the head, on the Sasrara Chakra, it resides on the back of our head, on the optic lobe. 
actually all the six energy centers down below are represented on top of our head and all these six chakras put together make the seventh energy center called sahasrara which we will be detailing to you in the coming sessions but for now the muladhara chakra the first chakra resides in the back that is the optic lobe of the head where you can see the red dot it is represented in our palms or in our hands at the base of our palm you can see the two red dots there indicated in the base of the palm and that is the location of the muladhara chakra in our hands and also they are placed in our feet in the sole in the heel at the base of the sole where we can see the two red dots they indicate the muladhara chakra again and hence in the overall subtle chart we can see that the muladhara chakra resides at the base of the spinal cord where it says number 1 it also resides in the base of our palm where it says number 1 again and also you can see a representation of the feet where it says number 1 in the heel that is the muladhara chakra again and on the optic lobe at the back of our head now on the right hand side there is a more clear picture showing you the front view side view and the back view of the head so you can clearly see how the muladhara chakra is represented by the number 1 it is exactly at the center on the back of our head and hence when we meditate if there are any indications in these regions where the muladhara chakra is represented that means the energy or the subtle energy is flowing inside and working and trying to clear the muladhara chakra within us so these are the locations of the muladhara chakra now let us see what is the meaning of muladhara chakra mula means root adhara means support so in sanskrit muladhara put together means the support of the roots this chakra is actually a support to our entire energetical system or the subtle system and this chakra protects us from all kinds of energetical attacks from the outside and protects us overall for physical emotional mental and energetical well being now for example if we can take a tree which does not have a good foundation what would happen to it it cannot put its roots down deep inside and cannot have a firm stand and the tree may collapse any time this is exactly what happens if the muladhara chakra is weak in us we may be very very volatile and we may invite lot of problems or diseases or any other kind of issues into our subtle system on the other hand if our foundation is very strong then the roots can go deep inside the ground have a firm firm steady foundation and the small plant can grow into a mighty tree and this is exactly what can happen to us if we can strengthen our muladhara chakra with our meditation our energetical system can become very very strong hence this is one of the most important energy centers Now let us see a little details about the qualities of the muladhara chakra. As we explained the four qualities the first one is innocence or a childlike quality. It doesn't mean that we are naive or we can get cheated very easily it doesn't mean that but innocence means our childlike quality means these are some of the qualities which we have lost as we have grown into an adult a child is always joyous it is always happy a child is never angry so easily and even if it gets angry it can forget the anger very soon and get along with the person very easily it knows that the mother will take care of it it is never afraid it knows the mother will feed it it knows that the mother will take care of it and hence it is always very confident So these are some of the childlike qualities which we have lost as we grow and the most important thing is the child does not have any ego This is one of the 
great hurdles we have developed as we have become adults the next quality of the muladhara chakra is chastity so when we hear the word chastity immediately what comes to our mind is having a proper married life and being very faithful and honest to the partner our life partner and having a good family that is chastity so that is chastity at a physical level but chastity is even more deeper it basically means purity we have to be chaste in our deeds that is action with our physical body we have also need to be chaste with our mind with our thoughts with whatever activities we do we can do it with a pure mentality without any manipulations without any calculations without trying to cheat anybody so chastity is all these things put together it is not only physical chastity the next quality is wisdom shri mata ji explains that we have knowledge like for example we have knowledge that alcohol is not good for our health but sometimes we cannot control ourselves we will say it's okay i know it is not good for our health but i can take a few drinks here and there so that means we do not have control over our actions what shri mata ji explains is that wisdom is nothing but the knowledge we have we should act upon it if we know that something is not good for us then we should be having the energy or the strength to keep away from that if we do not have that that means we lack wisdom this is what wisdom means as shri mata ji has explained to us many times there are many bad qualities which we know that it is bad but still we cannot control ourselves that means we lack wisdom so a wise person can make decisions and keep away from all the bad things which can hurt him another quality of the muladhara chakra is joy this is also one of the things which we have lost as we have grown up as we know the child is always joyous is always happy the just joy does not depend upon any circumstance outside it doesn't mean that we can be happy or joyous only if we have an automobile or a big mansion we can be joyous with whatever we have joy is a state of mind shri mata ji explains that happy being happy and being unhappy there is a plural but in joy there is no plural it is a singularity there is only joy now let us see how we can damage our muladhara chakra and get it to an imbalance what are the qualities if we go to extremes can damage the muladhara chakra let us go into the details of it one is unchaste behavior we know what is chastity and if we are not faithful and truthful to our partner and having extra marital relationships then there is a chance that the muladhara chakra can go into an imbalance so it is very very vital to maintain our chastity flirtatious nature having attention on everybody else around and not being able to pay attention to their partner and being faithful to them having adulterous eyes looking at men or women wherever we go can really damage our muladhara chakra can really damage our innocence and bring bad thoughts and bad attention into our mind speaking foul language the use of language can really damage our innocence and if we are not able to make decisions with wisdom sometimes we make decisions very hastily 
without thinking or without knowing the consequences or without having wisdom as explained before some of the bad habits which can affect our innocence is also visual pornography which is very common these days in this electronically developed world when a person gets addicted to pornography the person starts getting bad ideas about sexual relationships and it can really really damage his muladhara chakra and really damage his mind and have a bad intention or an overview on sex and the opposite sex members now let us see how we can feel the muladhara catches when we are meditating if we are feeling the points which we explained that the muladhara chakra resides that means our muladhara chakra may have a little bit of imbalance and with regular meditation we can easily correct them just to repeat the base of the palm the heel in the feet the optic lobe on the back of the head and also the base of the spine these are the regions where the muladhara chakra exists within us and in meditation if there is an imbalance we can easily feel it in our own central nervous system only after the awakening of this kundalini energy now let us see what are the treatments which can help to improve the muladhara chakra We have seen about the foot soaking process in our session number 2. So regular meditation and regular foot soaking will help to cleanse the muladhara chakra. The salt which we use in the foot soaking represents the earth element. So it sucks the negativity from the muladhara chakra. So by doing regular meditation and regular foot soaking on a daily basis, we can really clear our muladhara chakra. walking on the bare earth the earth is the muladhara chakra represented within us so when we walk on the earth bare feet the heel of the feet is in contact with the earth and the earth can absorb the negativity from the muladhara chakra so we can take a walk in our garden with our bare walk in the a uh, uh, green area walk in the parks we can take a walk in the seashore near the water also this will help us to cool down and uh, relax the muladhara chakra and the earth can absorb all the negativities from our muladhara chakra looking at natural things and appreciating the beauty of nature like the mountains like the sky the clouds the earth when we start appreciating nature and, and start looking at the real beauty in the nature then our muladhara chakra can soothe down a lot maintaining an eye contact at a level of 3 feet from the ground by this way we will not put our attention on people walking around us we will not be looking at men and women walking around us which may bring bad attention into our mind we just need this little bit of a size to bring our muladhara into control but once the muladhara chakra is established and opened out we will see that we will not have bad eyes we will not have bad thoughts we will not have possessive thoughts and we can become really really innocent we can also meditate by sitting on the earth in the outside in the nature the muladhara chakra is represented as the earth element and the muladhara chakra is at the base of the spinal cord shimata ji even says it comes a little bit outside the body so when we sit on the earth and meditate the muladhara chakra is in direct contact with the earth and the earth can absorb the problems from the muladhara chakra we can also put both the hands on the earth and meditate for 2 to 3 minutes In this way we can feel the impurities or the imbalances from the muladhara chakra being sucked away by the earth. This is a very good clearance technique for the muladhara chakra. Now in the subtle chart we have seen about the muladhara chakra which is in the center along the central channel on the spinal cord. Now there are channels on the left and the right side. of the central channel we already know that it is the left channel and the right channel 
So every chakra on the spinal cord has reflection on the left and the right channel. So the Muladhara chakra, there is a representation on the left channel called as a left Muladhara chakra. And it has a representations on the right side of the spine as a right Muladhara chakra. As you can see in the chart, it is mentioned there clearly, the left and the right Muladhara. So now we will see about only the left Muladhara chakra. The left Muladhara chakra is represented in the left hand base of the palm. So when we meditate, if we feel only the Muladhara portion of our hand in the left side, that means only the left Muladhara chakra is having a problem or an imbalance and it is trying to correct itself. Even in the heel, if we feel the tingling, pricking or heaviness sensation only on the left heel of the Muladhara portion, that means there is a problem only in the left Muladhara. So if we are having pricking only in the left heel of the left palm or the left heel in the leg, it indicates a left muladhara problem which means we may have physical problems on the left side of the body around the muladhara or chastity related problems in the quality level which we have explained before. So let us now see how to treat the left muladhara chakra in particular. To clear the left Muladhara Chakra, we have to keep the left hand palm open on our lap and the right hand we can put it on the earth. And we can sit in silent meditation for 2-3 minutes by keeping attention in our left finger thumb and more attention on the base of the palm where the Muladhara Chakra resides. So in this way, the earth will help to absorb the problems from the Muladhara Chakra. It is not necessary that we have to sit outside in the garden like this. Even if you are sitting at home, you can sit on the ground. And even if you are sitting on the chair in your home, you can place the left hand on the lap and the right hand you can leave it loose towards the ground. Just like how we clear the left channel. We can even place a candle flame in front of the left hand because the fly fire element helps to clear all the chakras on the left side. So this can also help to clear the left Muladhara chakra. Or you may also keep three candles around your left side and keep the left hand on your lap and the right hand on the ground. This three candle treatment we have seen in the session while we talked about the left channel. This same treatment can be done for the left Muladhara chakra also. So we have to do the treatment only if we are feeling problems in our left Muladhara Chakra. It is not mandatory that we have to do these treatments every day. We are just teaching you the theory but once you get awareness and in your meditation if you feel the chakras are having problem then you can do these treatments. So we can sit in this position until we feel a steady cool breeze in our left hand which means the problems are clearing and we are able to come into a balance. Now we will see about the locations of the right Muladhara Chakra. The right Muladhara Chakra is represented on the Muladhara region only on the right hand. As you can see in this picture here. The right Muladhara Chakra is also represented on the right heel of our feet. So if we are feeling any sensations, tingling, pricking or heat or pressure on the right base of the uh, palm or the right heel on the feet or on the right side of the spinal cord where the Muladhara resides, that means the right side of the Muladhara Chakra is having a problem or an imbalance. This is how we can come to know about it. If we are having problems relating to austerity 
or like not wanting to have a happy married life or a doubting nature doubting about our own self and being very very rigid about our own self basically a very right sided person then we can have right muladhara problems now we will see how to clear the right muladhara chakra to clear the right muladhara chakra we can sit on the ground and we can keep the right hand palm open on our lap and the left hand we can put it on the earth if you are sitting on the chair you can keep the right hand on your lap and the left hand you can point it towards the ground and just leave it loose in this position we can meditate on the right muladhara meaning we can put attention on our right fingertips and palm and also the base of the palm where the muladhara resides this will help to suck away all the problems from our right muladhara chakra into the earth element we can also do the foot soaking treatment for the right muladhara but the water should be cold if in case we feel right muladhara chakra if we feel the left muladhara we can use the cold uh, hot water sorry and if we feel the right muladhara we have to balance it out with the cold water because the right muladhara or the right side of the body basically is hot so doing a foot soak with ice cold water even will help us to cool down the right muladhara and bring us into a balance so now we have almost come to the end of this session about the explanation of the muladhara chakra so let us quickly have a recap of what we have seen today we have seen about the muladhara chakra how it looks what are the qualities and where they are placed in our body as shown in this picture and we have also seen the qualities of the muladhara chakra which is innocence chastity wisdom and joy and how we can damage our muladhara chakra by acting against it so all the diseases in the organs controlled by the muladhara chakra are coming because of the imbalance of the muladhara chakra and if we are having any problems that means we can easily judge that our muladhara is in a imbalance and with meditation and with the treatments what we have taught us here you can easily clear your muladhara chakra and also clear your physical emotional mental and energetical imbalances so what we will suggest for you today is that in the coming week please try to practice the meditation on the muladhara chakra because we have seen about the muladhara chakra today so you will start the meditation on a daily basis so we can start the meditation by raising the kundalini taking a bandhan and then first we will balance the left muladhara by keeping the left hand on the lap and the right hand on the earth we will meditate for 2 3 minutes until it clears and then next step we will balance the right muladhara so we'll keep the right hand on our lap and the left hand we'll put it on the earth and we will sit in silent meditation on the right muladhara for 2 3 minutes and then for the center muladhara we can keep both our hands touching the earth we can do the same by sitting in the chair also by letting loose our both hands towards the ground for another 2 3 minutes we can try to clear the muladhara in this way while doing this exercise we can literally feel the imbalance or the pressure from the muladhara chakra being sucked away by the earth if we are little new to sahaj yoga and we are not able to feel this awareness not to worry about you will eventually feel it but it is a good sign that if you are able to feel it because these are not blind exercises and they really work out so after balancing the left muladhara right muladhara and the center muladhara then we can bring both the hands back on our lap and we will sit in silent meditation for 10 15 minutes with attention on top of our head so please try to do this practice of meditation on the muladhara chakra in this coming week the next 7 days and in the next session we will start talking about the subsequent chakras so as advised kindly do practice the meditation at home every day 10 to 15 minutes in the morning try to do the foot soak in the evening again 10 to 15 minutes and this week try to balance out your muladhara chakra 
so hope you have had a good meditation session with us hope you have learned something new with today and uh, hope you will implement it in the coming week please do join us in the coming sessions where we will be seeing the seminars of the coming chakras also have a nice week ahead take care and bye